Blessed Tuesday everyone, welcome to our daily devotions and as we continue on our week, our 35th week of our daily devotions, uh, we would be looking at 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. We're still using this devotional, so let me grab my Bible and read to you 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. This is how it reads in this in the section ng final warning ni Paul. It reads, Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves or do not or do you not realize this about yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you unless indeed you fail to meet the test. Wow, very compelling verse. This is what we have for today. Dr. MacArthur writes, Many professed believers go through life with an indifferent attitude toward their sins. So, ang sinasabi po ni Dr. MacArthur is this, like, many who claim to be believers uh, are living their lives as if um, they don't have any convictions regarding sin. They, they um, have an indifferent attitude towards their sin, parang very loosely. They see sin very loosely. Yet the Lord tells us people to examine their lives each time they come to His table, right? When we go to um, the Lord's table, when we do communion, ano sabi sa atin? Examine, di ba? Uh, if uh, we are worthy of the sacrifice of, of, of um, the, the um, means of grace by which we were saved as we remember Jesus' sacrifice. And the Apostle Paul admonished the Christian church, examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Right? Again, uh, hindi sinasabi ng Biblia that we can lose our salvation, that, that we will we are saved now, and then when we test ourselves, oh, we failed, and then we will lose our salvation. No. It's a saying that true saving faith would give us a, a, a new disposition. Saving faith, saving grace has changed us so beautifully. And therefore, there would be uh, um, change. There would be um, a beautiful transformation. You need to understand, as I've said uh, um, in our previous um, devotions, that salvation is not a matter, matter of addition, but it's a matter of transformation. You're not just adding Jesus to your life. And so, on, uh, continue on with your life. And just as long as I have a, a patch, a, a name tag perhaps of Jesus, then I'll be saved. No, it's a matter of G Jesus uh, um, working in and through you. And then uh, the Holy Spirit changes you. And then He has transformed you. That is what salvation is. So, when, when we hear... The, the instructions, when we hear the commands of Paul to say, test yourselves if you're in the faith, it's saying that true saving faith would uh, uh, pass the tests, pass the litmus test. And what is this? Um, do you have love for God? Do you have love for His Word? Are there any changes at all? I mean, do you hate sin? Yes, we struggle with sin, but do you struggle with sin? Are you broken when you sin? Do you run to God in repentant faith, asking for forgiveness right away when you sin? That is one of the um, many uh, ways that you can test yourselves. If you do this regularly and with a positive attitude, you will make sure your inner motives and desires are set towards pleasing God, even though you often fail Him. So, what Paul is saying is this. Test yourselves. T test your motives. Test your um, driving force, that's your heart. If indeed you're in the faith, what are you doing right now? Um, as you serve, is it really for serving God? So that that is what, what Paul is saying here. When we say test yourselves, if you are truly in the faith, we, it's a, it's a, um, an assessment, a spiritual assessment. It's a spiritual audit of who you tr truly are. Are there changes? Are you doing things for the glory of God? Uh, yes, there are uh, many times that we fail, but how do we respond when we fail? When we when we are offended, do we fight back? Uh, um, you would find out. So, ang maganda yung ating devotion ngayon, especially now as we go through the pandemic. Uh, how do you respond to the pandemic as we test ourselves, as we assess our faith, if we truly are in the faith? Um... Are we more of a complainer rather than a um, someone who praises? 
And again, then if we are proven na, oh, um, I'm more of a grumbler, then we can always go back to God's word and then ask for forgiveness, right? And if you are found to indeed not save, then go to scripture, uh, come to Jesus in repentant faith and ask for him to save you, right? That is uh, a beautiful uh, reminder for, for all of us to continually assess our hearts, assess and test our motives, assess even our thoughts, and uh, assess our aspirations. Right? So, salamat sa Diyos sa kanyang salita. As we are going through this uh, pandemic, I pray that we would be found to be people na kahit nahihirapan. As we have discussed last Sunday, that um, yes, we would be found to be um feeling as if God has forgotten us, feeling as if we are doubting God's promise, but but God's word, His ministry, uh, um, its ministry is to enlighten us, to encourage us, and to um, give us hope and uh, comfort in our hearts, right? So, salamat sa Diyos sa kanyang salita, and I pray that you were blessed, and um, I pray that we were challenged to, um, yeah, assess ourselves, examine ourselves, um, to see whether we really are in the faith or not. Sige po, pray tayo. Let's pray. Thank you for joining me. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We pray that you continue to help us uh, understand that, um, yes, uh, genuine salvation would not be revoked. But uh, you have commanded us, Lord, to test ourselves. If we indeed are uh, in the faith, if we are indeed glorifying you, if we indeed are uh, desiring to honor you in everything that we say, think, or do. And if found to um, not be doing that, we pray that you'd forgive us. And just in case, Lord, as we assess ourselves, we'd we be found as not really believers, not really uh, um, possessors of um, salvation. We pray that you would um, be merciful unto us and uh, just save us and just change us so beautifully so we would live our lives for you. We thank you again, Lord, for this beautiful opportunity to be in the Word, to be um, encouraged, enlightened, and um, edified by your Word. I pray that you would be with us the whole day. I pray that we would be able to worship you and glorify you in everything that we say, think, or do. We um, ask you for uh, your uh, traveling mercies for those who would be traveling, uh, guidance and provision, healing for those who are sick. And we pray, Lord, that you would continue to... Um, just glorify yourself in and through us. In Christ name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Ingat po ay lahat and God bless you.